Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about top cities in Egypt that you should definitely visit. Trust me, it's not going to be the regular cities you see on a daily basis, and I'm fully convinced that you barely know 30% of these cities. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. I know when we talk of Egypt and cities, the first thing that comes to your mind is Cairo. I understand it's the capital of Egypt. But what if I told you there are more cities in Egypt that to me are more beautiful and might just be the perfect place for you to spend your holidays? Really? Yeah, some of these places are private and some of them are reserved for you exciting activities just like scuba diving and hot balloon views, just to name a few. However, let's get into the list of these places. Sham El Sheikh. Excellent beaches beautiful coral reefs and some of the best dive spots in the world sham hard shake is perfect for a relaxing getaway or a fun field adventure whether you are 8 80 or 80 there are a lot of great reasons to take a closer look at sham el shake it's warm sunny and has an average temperature of about 72 degrees fahrenheit all ideal for activities like camel riding and desert excursions Hugada. Hugada is a beach resort town stretching some 40 kilometers along Egypt's Red Sea coast. Hugada used to be a small fishing village in the 1900s until the discovery of oil in the 1913s. The city gradually became richer and richer. Hugada started to attract international attention thanks to its gorgeous beaches and sea around the 1970s. It's renowned for scuba diving and has numerous dive shops and schools in the modern Sekala district. Hugada has a desert climate with almost no chance to rain throughout the year. We suggest you visit Hugada during the late spring or late autumn since the weather is pleasant and more welcoming. It is recommended for you to enjoy Hugada for at least three to four days. El Gunai Located 25 km north of Hugada, it is a private town built 20 years ago by Onsi Sawiris, one of the richest people in Egypt with his three sons. Built along the shore and on small islands, it's known for its lagoons, coral reefs and sandy beaches. The city was inspired by a trip to Venice. So many artificial seawater canals have been created and all rooms at the hotel have sea and canal views. Canals, lagoons, lush greenery gives the impression that the desert are not even nearby. Only foreigners are allowed to live in the city. 50,000 inhabitants live here. The resort is considered to be the most modern, elegant, luxurious and tidy on the entire Red Sea coast. El Guna offers a complete lifestyle change giving residents a special state of mind. Offering a wide range of properties from gorgeous private villas with water frontage to turn key apartments into stunning locations. Luxor Luxor is a city on the east bank of the Nile River in southern Egypt. It's on the side of ancient Thebes, the pharaoh's capital at the height of their power during the 16th to the 11th centuries. Today's city surrounds two huge surviving ancient monuments, the graceful Luxor Temple and the Karnak Temple, a Mai in the north. Also called El Aksu, Luxor is a world heritage site and has a site of over 160 square miles and an estimated population of 1.3 million people. Top 5 things to do in Luxor are visiting the Kamak Temple, the Valley of the Kings, the Luxor Temple, the Temple of Hatshepsut, and the Hot Balloon Trip over Luxor. Dahab Dahab is a small Egyptian town in the southeast coast of Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. Approximately 80 kilometers northeast of Sham El Sheikh, Dahab is now considered to be one of Egypt's most treasured diving destinations. Read in by its mellow ambience, many travelers plan a few nights here and instead stay for weeks. Found here is the Blue Hole, caved into a reef. 8 kilometers north of Daha. The blue hole is a gaping sinkhole that drops straight down. Some say it's as deep as 130 meters. Exploring the deeper depths should be left to experienced technical divers, but there is plenty to discover close to the surface. Aswan, the magical city of Aswan, formerly known as Swenet, is located in the south of Egypt. 
as one earns its name because it was a strategic gateway to the south in ancient times. Aswan is known for its beautiful Nile Valley scenery, significant archaeological sites, and peaceful aura. Its weather is warm all round year, which makes it perfect for winter destination. Sailing to the historical sites such as Philia, the Aswan Museum, the Monastery of Saint Simeon, and the Botanical Island gives you an opportunity to explore Aswan's rich history and culture. Apart from Aswan's historical sites, the city offers a unique cultural experience through the Nubian village known as Gap Sehel. Alexandria. Alexandria is a major city in Egypt. It was once among the greatest cities of the Mediterranean world and a center of Hellenic scholarship and science. It is one of Egypt's largest cities and its principal seaport and major industrial center. The prevailing north wind blowing across the Mediterranean gives Alexandria a markedly different climate from that of the desert hinterland. The summers are relatively temperate, although humidity can build up in July and in August, the hottest month when the average temperature reaches about 31 degrees Celsius. Though Arabic-speaking Egyptians represent the vast majority of the city's population, Alexandria was once home to a polyglot foreign community made up principally of immigrants from other Mediterranean countries such as Greece, Italy, Syria, and France. Hello guys who have come to the end of this video. Please let me know in the comment section which of these cities was your favorite. Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss up our future posts. That was it for today and see you on another video. Ciao.